Hi everyone, Guinea Dad here. So today we're going to talk about guinea pig cages. Guinea pig cage is the main part of where guinea pigs live obviously, so it's an important topic and I'm going to talk about it today. So if you're a new guinea pig parent, you probably bought your guinea pig cage from the pet store. If your guinea pig is still a baby, you know, it might not be a too much of an issue at the beginning, but as they grow up, you should probably consider purchasing a larger cage. So some of the cage options that people think about, they sometimes look at the ferret cages. Made of like couple stories, it's like usually three stories or four stories, uh, which are ideal for ferrets or other animals that likes to climb up. But for guinea pigs, they like large areas that are flat instead of high. So those are probably not the best fit for guinea pigs, even though they seem to like the climb. The second type of cage that people consider are outdoor hutches. So something you need to think about when you're considering outdoor hutches is the temperature of the place that you live in. Ideal temperature for guinea pig is usually between 65 to 75 Fahrenheit. Anything below 65, you need to be aware of it because they're prone to getting cold. Anything above 80 is not so good because there is a chance that they might get overheated. The last option for guinea pig cages is CNC cages. I use CNC cages because it's easy to modify and make it however I want it to. Plus, CNC cages usually come in larger sizes, so it's also good for guinea pigs. So for example, if you have two guinea pigs at the beginning and you decide that you want to adopt one more guinea pig, it's easy to expand from 2x4 to 2x5 to 2x6, or maybe you want to make your corner cages or you want to have two separate cages connected by a bridge and so on and so forth. So I actually recommend CNC cages for most people and right now I'm going to show you my own setup, how I set up my CNC cages. I'm not saying that it's the right way to do it but it's good for my guinea pigs and my apartment. So this is my cage setup. So I have the CNC cage. It's 2x6 added by 2x3. So technically, if I were to put it in a straight line, it's 2x9 cage. However, it's not a closed cage as you can see. There's an opening where they can come out whenever they want to have floor time. So they actually have 2x9 cage plus floor time half my apartment. So this is my first area. So this is my guinea dad cage area 2 and area 3. So in area 2, there is a tunnel and a sofa under the TV. This is me's uh, favorite spot. And this number 3 area is sit down when I'm using computer and then they sometimes come and check me out and then go back. Now it's the Q&A time. One of the questions someone asked and I actually get asked a lot is, I have two guinea pigs, what cage size should I get? This depends, general rule of thumb is you want to get 2x4 CNC cages. It's the beginning of size and according to Humane Society, it's the recommended size for two guinea pigs. There's an exception, if you have two male guinea pigs who need more spaces, then we actually recommend 2x5 instead of 2x4. For female guinea pigs, they are less territorial, so you might need something small. Also depends on the personality of your guinea pig. If you find one of the guinea pigs chewing on the CNC grid a lot or picking a fight with another guinea pig often, it might be because they need more personal space. So if that's the case, then I also recommend that you expand your case to support. Well, thank you for listening everyone. Well, next time we'll come back with the more educational videos and make sure to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Thank you everyone, bye!